Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So sit back and enjoy. Adara Europis Synagogue. Here was a unique opportunity to witness how Jews of that time depicted themselves with their own hands. For the most part, they portrayed themselves as people of color, ranging from light complexions to black and skin color. The black presence in the lands of the Bible, page 15. The ancient nations believed the universe was God. We are looking at the full moon. In the book of Genesis, the full moon is called the lesser light, while the sun is called the greater light. The moon is Earth's only natural satellite with a diameter about one quarter that of Earth, comparable to the width of Australia. It lacks any significant atmosphere, hydrosphere, or magnetic field. The usual English proper name for Earth's natural satellite is simply moon. The noun moon is derived from Old English mona, which, like all its Germanic cognates, stems from Proto-Germanic menon which in turn comes from Proto-Indo-European menace, month, from earlier menat, genitive, menaces, which may be related to the verb measure of time. Nena is the Sumerian god of the moon. The Sumerians lived in the plain of Shinar from the book of Genesis. Nena, his name was also Sin, was the god of the moon in the Mesopotamian religions of Sumer, Akkad, Assyria, Babylonia, and Aram, Syria. The two chief seats of his worship were Ur in the south of Mesopotamia and Haran in the north. Nana was also associated with Katu and with dairy products and references to stars as representations of his herd are known. The lunar crescent was the primary symbol of the moon god in Mesopotamia. The planet Mercury. Mercury is the first planet from the sun and the only one in the solar system without a considerable atmosphere. It is the smallest terrestrial planet of the solar system. It is named 
after the Roman god Mercurius. Mercury, god of commerce, messenger of the gods, and mediator between gods and mortals, corresponding to the Greek god Hermes. Inki, the Sumerian god, is the planet Mercury. Inki is the Sumerian god of water, knowledge, crafts, and creation, and one of the Anunnaki. The Sumerian Anunnaki and the Egyptian Ennead is the same. All the different religious mythologies come from the same source and have the same origin. Aniki was god of creation, intelligence, crafts, water, seawater, lake water, fertility, magic, mischief. His Greek equivalent was Poseidon Prometheus. He was associated with the southern band of constellations called Stars of Ea, but also with the constellation as Aku, the Phil Square of Pegasus. These are all astral deities related to stars, planets, constellations. The planet Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun and the only terrestrial object in the solar system other than Earth that has a substantial atmosphere and is almost as massive and large as Earth. Like Mercury, Venus orbits the Sun always closer than Earth, resulting in its appearing in Earth's sky always inferior close to the Sun. And at night, as either a morning star or evening star. The Roman goddess Venus was actually the planet Venus. Venus is a Roman goddess whose function encompass love, beauty, desire, sex, fertility, prosperity, and victory. She came to symbolize Rome's imperial power. Venus, Helopalatina, Venus of Helopolis, Syriaca, a Roman Syrian form of Venus at Belbec was variously identified with Astarte, goddess of the Canaanites and Phoenicians. All the ancient nations worshipped the same gods and goddesses under different various names. The same planets the same constellations, the same stars, with different names. The Greater Light 
of the book of Genesis. Comparing the sun with the moon. The sun. The sun is the star at the center of the solar system. It is a nearly perfect ball of hot plasma. Plasma is often called the fourth state of matter, along with solid, liquid, and gas. Just as a liquid will boil, changing into a gas when energy is added, heating a gas will form a plasma, a soup of positively charged particles, ions and negatively charged particles, electrons, heated to incandescence by nuclear fusion reactions in its core. The sun radiates this energy mainly as light, ultraviolet and infrared radiation, and is the most important source of energy for life on Earth. Solar deities play a major role in many world religions and mythologies. In religions such as Hinduism, the sun is still considered a god. He is known as Surya. Many ancient monuments were constructed with solar phenomena in mind. For example, Stone megaliths accurately mark the summer or winter solstice. Some of the most prominent megaliths are located in Napta, Playa, Egypt, Najera, Malta, and at Stonehenge, England, Newgrange, a prehistoric human built mound or mount in Ireland was designed to detect the winter solstice. Surya is the sun as well as the solar deity in Hinduism. The iconography of Surya is often depicted riding a chariot harnessed by horses, often seven in number, which represent the seven colors of visible light and the seven days of the week. Surya is depicted with a chakra, also interpreted as Dharma Chakra, a will, and a solar symbol. It first appears on clay seals of the Indus Valley Civilization. Sura is the Lord of Leo, one of the twelve constellations in the zodiac system of Hindu astrology. Mitra, a form of Sura, is described as the eye of the world and thus the sun is conceived of as an eye which illuminates and perceives the world thus a will symbol might also be associated with light and knowledge the persians and the roman army worshiped Mitra, under the name Mitra, the cult of Sol Invictus, or the Invincible Sun. Mars, the planet Mars.
Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the third largest and massive terrestrial object in the solar system. Mars has a thin atmosphere and a crust primarily composed of elements similar to Earth's crust, as well as a core made of iron and nickel. Mars has surface features such as impact craters, valleys, dunes, and polar ice caps. Mars has two small irregular shaped moons, Phobos and Deimos. Mars is named after the Roman god of war. This association between Mars and war dates back at least to Babylonian astronomy in which the planet was named for the god Nergal, deity of war and destruction. Eru the Shur, Horus the Red, is the planet Mars. Heru the Shur, Horus the Red, the ancient Egyptian name for the planet Mars. Horus, also known as Heru or Hor, in the language of the ancient Egyptians, is one of the most significant ancient Egyptian deities who served many functions, most notably as god of kingship, healing protection, the sun, and the sky. He was worshipped from at least the late prehistoric Egypt and to the Ptolemaic kingdom and Roman Egypt. He was most often depicted as a falcon, most likely a lanar falcon or perigerine falcon, or as a man with a falcon head. His Greek equivalent was Apollo. The planet Mars was known by the ancient Egyptian as Horus of the horizon. Then later, Her the Shur, or Horus the Red. Horus in the horizon was often depicted as a sphinx with the head of a man like the great sphinx of Giza, or as a hero called sphinx, a creature with a lion's body and a falcon's head and wings, sometimes with the head of a lion or ram. It was believed that he was the inspiration for the great sphinx of Giza. Constructed under the order of Khafre, whose head it depicts. Jupiter, the planet Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. And the largest in the solar system. It is a gas giant with a mass more than two and a half times that of all the other planets in the solar system combined and slightly less than one one thousandth the mass of the sun. Jupiter is the third brightest natural object in the Earth's night sky, after the moon and Venus. It was named after Jupiter, the chief deity of ancient Roman religion. Jove, or Zeus, is the planet Jupiter.
Jupiter, Latin, Jupiter, or Lupiter, from proto italic Jous, day, sky, plus pater, father, thus sky, father, Greek, Zeus, also known as Jove, is the god of the sky and thunder and king of the gods in ancient Roman religion and mythology. Jupiter was the chief deity of Roman state religion throughout the Republican and Imperial eras until Christianity became the dominant religion of the empire. His Greek equivalent is Zeus. Hinduism equivalent Indra. Canaanite equivalent El. En Baal. Mesopotamian equivalent Anu, Enil, Hadad, Marduk. Saturn, the planet Saturn, Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and the second largest in the solar system after Jupiter. It is a gas giant with an average radius of about nine and a half times that of Earth. Saturn is named after the Roman god of wealth and agriculture and father of Jupiter. The Romans named the seventh day of the week Saturday. Saturni dies, Saturn day for the planet Saturn. Neruta, an ancient Mesopotamian god, is actually the planet Saturn. Neruta is an ancient Mesopotamian god associated with farming, healing, hunting, law, scribes, and war who was first worshipped in early Sumer. In the earliest records, he is a god of agriculture and healing who cures humans of sicknesses and releases them from the power of demons. Nurta may have been the inspiration for the figure of Nimrod, a mighty hunter who is mentioned in association with Kahu in the book of Genesis. Conversely, and more conventionally, the mythological Nerurta may have been inspired by a historical person, such as Ninus. He may also be mentioned in the second book of Kings under the name Nisroch.